mission accomplished. I did three swim sessions this week. Good morning. It is currently 6.30 and I am just getting ready to go do a swim workout for the third time this week. So that's a huge win because I think this is the most I've swam this week. I'm just gonna have a banana and thankfully Kian, my fiance, is gonna join me and then maybe reward ourselves with some Starbucks? Maybe. <laughs> What is happening? I didn't know it's going away. Oh. Didn't do the last 400 because we're starving. <laughs> okay, let's go get some Starbucks. I'm so happy that I went to the pool three times this week and like there's actually something about consistency something just clicked with my swimming form today and I was like oh my gosh now I know what I need to focus on in order for me to get faster because they say you know it's not just about brute force but the technique in which you swim actually helps with the speed I'm gonna try and make it a habit to go to the pool at least three times next week Wishful thinking, but I am on a roll this week and I need to keep this going. We are on our way to the track because my fiance Kian over here is training for a marathon and he's got a speed workout to do. Thankfully, I'm done all my workouts of the day, so I'm just gonna go and support and also catch a ride because I gotta go downtown and get a haircut because this mane of mine is super long and thick and it's weighing me down. <laughs> in all my workouts. You need to be more aerodynamic. I need to be more aerodynamic. <laughs> so what is your speed workout today? I'm doing uh, pyramid intervals. Yeah. I do not miss training for a marathon. I'm happy that I get to change things up, but Kian here is documenting his marathon journey, so I'm also going to be a camera woman today and film some of his workouts. So if you are interested in watching his journey, he's got his channel up and running. I think his first episode is now up, right? Yeah. So I'll link it here and you can check him out. Good morning. So I have a brick workout to do today. It's actually going to be my longest ride ever, which is going to be two hours and 10 minutes. And then I'm going to go straight into a 30 minute run at race pace. So I am going to be wearing these pair of shorts. I can't remember where it's from. Bomb Rager. Um, and this has a chamois inside it and then a sports bra because I know I'm going to heat up when I'm biking on the trainer. Once I'm done that, I am going to go change into some spandex and a long sleeve to go straight to my run it's five degrees celsius outside which is a little bit chilly but i know i'm going to be pretty warmed up from the bike so i think i'll be okay to wear shorts and a long sleeve to go into it oh time is going by very slowly it's one of those days where i'm kind of sick of music so i'm just scrolling on tiktok I'm like, do I listen to the podcast? I don't know if I want to listen to her voice. I'm referring to Rachel Goes Rogue from Vanderpump Rules. The new season came out and I'm curious to hear her side of the story, <laughs> but I don't know if I want to listen to that throughout my whole ride. I'm just trying to figure out what to do in terms of passing the time. I don't want to watch a movie. I kind of want to like get in the groove. I have 28 minutes of being in zone one. I'm supposed to be in arrow for as long as possible but i'll probably wait until the interval portion which is going to be 
10 minutes at zone three. I'm gonna be doing that three times with five minutes easy spinning in between. I feel like I need to find better fuel because I have a pack of Marvel cheese and it's not, I don't think it's enough. It's only 60 calories per stick. And I have a banana here. So hopefully cameraman over there will get me some peanut butter sandwiches. <laughs> Liquid carbs. Liquid carbs. Oh, I have that here. Wait, so what do you want? A, a peanut butter sandwich? Peanut butter sandwich, please. You don't need to put banana because I've got banana. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> Delicious. Yeah. Two hours and 10 minutes on the bike, done and dusted. Now it's time to do a 30 minute brick run. Onto the brick run, and it's gonna be 30 minutes at race pace. Shit, I'm going way too fast. And 30 minute brick run. Done and dusted. So I am actually in the States right now. For those of you who don't know, I actually live in Canada and me and my fiance took a trip down to the States because he actually has a Nexus interview. So hopefully he gets that because it's been like five years since he applied. Just I think with the pandemic and all the process has been kind of hectic. While I'm waiting for him, I wanted to recap my brick session today. It technically wasn't my first brick session. It was my second. The first time I did it, it was like a 55 minute ride and then straight into a 20 minute session whereas this one was two hours and 10 minutes long which was my longest ride ever and then right off the bike and straight into the run i'm not gonna lie i actually felt really good in my run to the point where i actually had to slow down and try and peel back because i was going a bit faster than my race pace so i'm not sure if this is normal um but oh he's here that was so quick oh my god let's hope he got it did you get it? Done and dusted. Yay! Now is the time to get treats. Treats. Trader Joe's. Good secure. What's this? Cinnamon coffee cake muffins. Moist sour cream cake. Oh my god, it smells so good. Happy Sunday. So I am scheduled for a 75 minute long run today, but I'm actually going to break it up because I have a run with Run Club later and that's going to be around 45 minutes. So I'm going to do half of it today because it does include some race pace. I'm actually going to try on some shoes that Saucony sent me. They're actually the new rides. I believe they're the Ride 17. Ooh. Gotta love their packaging. They sent me this. I have no idea what that is, so I'm gonna open that. Oh, oh my God, stickers. <laughs> yeah, for like the laptop, I guess, maybe. Oh, it's like a coffee book. This is so cool. A coffee table book, coffee table book. yeah, sorry. That's what it looks like. Okay, now on to the shoes. So, let's see. Oh my God, they're so cute. I think I'm gonna wear my other hat that'll match these shoes. I'm a huge fan of the rides. They're like a good everyday shoe and it has some good cushioning and they're quite responsive. So I'm gonna try on these and see how they go in today's run. I'm just doing, so I'm just doing my 15 minute warm up. It's supposed to be 45 minutes, but stupid train. But since I'm doing my run, since I'm doing, oh, so I'm currently train. I can't talk right now. Okay, let's try this again. I've got a 15 minute warm up instead of the 45 since I'm going to run club later. And I'm gonna go straight into 20 minutes at race pace. Into race pace now. I think I see someone in the distance. Who's that? Hi. Part one of today's long run, done and dusted. I totally underestimated the distance again or overestimated the distance. So now I've got quite a bit to walk 
to go back home. Um, and then I'm gonna change because I'm obviously really sweaty and then I'm gonna go to run club. I definitely should have activated more because it was a little hard to get into today's run. It was a bit harder to get into race pace compared to yesterday, which is weird because I was on the bike for two hours and 10 minutes, whereas I was a little bit more fresh, I guess, today. I really need to work on activating more. I used to be really good at it with my pre-run routine, but it's kind of slipped, so I need to get back on that. Okay, I lead these runs and I'm like the last one here. So late. I'm here. <laughs> We're gonna do two loops of this, and then after we do two loops, which is about 5K, we'll run to Taco Pino. What I like to do usually, as you know, I like to do icebreakers. And since the theme of today is tacos, we're gonna go around and talk about what your favorite taco is. And then, oh, and obviously introduce yourself. So, I'm Emily. My favorite taco is beef tacos. <laughs> <laughs> 